A daf a day keeps Veros at bay. To come and sit and learn a bit will answer all your troubles. Your biggest concerns will be bubbles. All your fears will disappear, and the Messiah himself will draw near. Crowds will gather from there and here to hear you speak, and they to cheer. And while very little of this is true, it sounded good and even rhymed too. In an effort to keep this day particularly artistic, I brought in an artiste to help me out with this. It's another day. Another day. Finish after everybody. Ah, give it up. Today's Dav Samach Gimel, that 63 is the second to last Dav in the entire Masechta. It means tomorrow's the Siam. Deals with a few interesting topics like whether you can spit in a shul. You really shouldn't do that. Or how maybe in a generation where people really don't care about Torah, it might not be a good idea to shove it down their throat as opposed to a generation where people really do care about Torah, in which case, why wouldn't you go and teach? But what I'd like to talk about is probably my favorite Pusik ever brought as an answer to a question of what is a small Pusik that somehow encapsulates all of the fundamental principles of Torah. It's a Pusik from Mishle that says, Behold derechecha do'ehu v'hu yiyasher or chosecha. That translates to something loosely like, be conscious of God in all of your ways, and he will straighten your paths. And simply put, I think that means something like it's hard to do activities that violate your own values while being conscious of ultimate truth and God himself. Thank you all for watching, and this wraps up day 46. And I hope you guys have a phenomenal, absolutely incredible, fantastic Shabbos.